When does your book start? Your book starts from birth. Right, right. Yeah. Childhood is well included. Yeah. So Mahal says, Baal Jawani Ar Birdh Pun Teen Avastha Jaan Kau Nanak Bin Harbajan Birtha Sab Iman. Guru Tegh Bharat in this looks. There's three stages of life. Baal Jawani Ar Birdh Pun. Baal is like being a child. Baal is Balak, yeah? Child. Jawani. What's that one? Youth in it, and then Birth Budappa. So there's three stages of life, and these three stages, Mara says, without Naam, they're all wasted. So, therefore, as a young person, we should be jumping Naam, as a child, we should be jumping Naam, and then as an adult, we should be jumping Naam, an old person. Naam is in every stage. So, your book starts from when you're born. Now, when you take Amrit, your book gets wiped clear. If you take Amrit properly, not just because you thought, oh, it's a cool thing to do, but if you took Amrit to give your head to your Guru, you went up there and you said, Maharaj, whatever was happening to me before, kill it. I want to be your servant. I want to live in your name. If you take Amrit that way, Maharaj wipes out all your sins. You know? He has that power. Yeah? So, then your book starts from scratch. Now you've got a new book called the Amritari book. Yeah? And again, it starts totting up. The difference with this book is this. If you stick to your red and you stick to loving your guru and you do good stuff, as an Amritari, that book, as you leave, it doesn't get judged by Taram Raj. Guru Sahib just rips it up. Yeah? If you live your own life properly, properly as by Amrit, the rules of Amrit, and you live your life as per Naam, then you're, you don't get judged. So, there's a video now which I don't know about what happens, but there's, got, there's like Three or four options at the end of life, yeah? Option number one, we go there, we haven't done any, we've got this book, it's, we're going to go to judgment. On judge, judgment, it could be heaven, you've done good, it could be go back into real reincarnation, or it could be a hell for a little while, t- temporary hell, it's not permanent, and then come back into the cycle of life cycle, yeah? Or, you don't have a judgment, yeah? And that means that your book gets ripped up and you just go straight in. So if you're a good Amritari person and you live your life as per the rules of Amrit and you're actually a decent person and you follow it properly, you don't get judged. You go straight through. Because Maharaj just rips out that book and says, Aja, manne paave hai mok dwar. Man ke jisi karoge na, you find that door. And the, the Jamdud can't touch you. Taram Raj can't touch you. You go straight in. Then there's some people that in this world, they achieve mukti. They, they get free of judgment while they're still alive. Yeah? Everybody else who's on the Amritari track is still, until the very last breath, still subject to falling off that path and messing up. But there's some people that get so high that they get mukti here. They call Jivan Mukt. So while they're alive, of such a spiritual status, that the book has already been wiped out. And now, everything they're good that they do, on top of more power to them than they do, they aren't earning it for themselves. They've already more mukti. So then they're giving it away. That's how people got to look to Mahapuruks. Because the Mahapurks are no longer doing Kamai for themselves. So the Gurus were like that. They were Mukt. They came here to help people. Many, many Mahapurks have been like that. They came on this earth from a very young child, from a very young age. They were already doing so much part in Simran because they were already Mukt. They were just doing it for other people. Now when you go and hang out with them, then it falls off them and rubs onto you. The saints are giving off this, this, uh, this fragrance of Naam all the time. Hey, dude.